Hello guys, I hope you're all fine. Today we are here to discuss about optimal generator allocation including transmission line losses or we can call it as economic load dispatch considering transmission line losses. Here if we consider N generator plants and generating plants so that uh, we can include the line losses. Here let's C1, C2 and so on CNR fuel costs of individual units whereas P1, P2 and so on PNR corresponding power outputs. Whereas here C is the total operating cost, PR is the total power de demand, whereas PL is the total transmission losses. Here for N plants, we can write like C equals to C1 plus C2 plus and so on CN, which is equals to sigma i is equal to 1 to N into CI, let it be equation 1. Whereas the total input to, to the network from our plants is P equals to P1 plus P2 plus and so on PN, which is equals to sigma i is equal to 1 to N into PI, let it, e let it be equation 2. But here the total generation equals to total power demand plus transmission losses. Here P equals to P1 plus P2 plus and so on Pn which is equals to sigma i is equal to 1 to n Pi. We can write it as Pr plus Pl. Whereas here we, we should assume that total transmission loss Pl is the function of generation. So we can write like P equals to F into F of P1 plus P2 plus and so on plus Pn. Here the optimal load dispatch problem considering transmission losses can be stated as minimize C equals to sigma i is equal to 1 to n into C i let it be equation 4. Here we will we can subject to the constraints like P r plus P l minus sigma i is equal to 1 to n into P i which is equal to 0 let it be equation 5. This is the equality constraint and here we should use Lagrangian multiplier technique. Here Lagrangian cost function is C conjugate. Here we know that C conjugate equals to C plus lambda f, let it be equation 6. Here f is the equality constraint. Here if we substitute the equation 5 in equation 6, here we will substitute this equation in this equation. Then we will get like C conjugate equals to C plus lambda into PR plus PL minus sigma i is equal to 1 to n into PI. Here for minimum we should do, do differentiation, so differentiation of C conjugate, so dou C conjugate by dou PI which is equal to 0. Here we can write like if we substitute this whole equation here then we will get like dou c by dou pi plus lambda into dou by dou pi you dou, dou by dou pi into pr plus pl minus sigma i is equal to 1 to n into pi which is equal to 0. Here if we observe here pr will become 0 because it will not depend on pi whereas pl it will be like this it will depend on pi so it will be like this only whereas here other than PI, other than PI, the other all like P1, P2 and so on, PN, it will, they, they all will become 0 due to differentiation. Whereas this PI will become 1, so there will be 1 here, which is equal to 0. Here dou C by dou PI will become lambda into 1 minus dou PL by dou PI. Here, since CI is the function of PI only, so the partial derivative will become full derivative. So we can write like dou C i by dou pi which is equal to dci by dpi. So we can write like dci by dpi equals to 1 lambda into 1 minus dou pl by dou pi. If you observe here, we know that 1 by 1 minus dou pl by dou pi is li. It is the penalty factor. So in the place of this one, we can write li. So it will become like li into dci by dpi which is equal to lambda. So we can write like L1 into DC1 by DP1 which is equal to L2 into DC2 by DP2 plus and so on Ln into DCN by DPN which is equal to lambda. This is all about the economic load dispatch including transmission loss. Here we can also call it as optimum generator allocation including transmission line losses. I hope you understand guys. Thank you.